in this exercise, what we're trying to do is we're trying to do our knee circles or hip circles, but supported. So we're using an elastic band to support the leg so that we can isolate the little muscles of the hip versus having the larger muscles like our quad or glute um, and our hip flexors take over. So the, the idea is that the band will take some of the weight of the leg. So for the knee bent version, I place it behind the knee, cross the band and let the upper body relax. From here, I'm using the band to support the weight of the leg. I want to think that the thigh sinks nice and deep into the hip socket. And then I'm just gonna do little circles in the hip joint. So I'm still thinking about pelvic stability, pelvic floor, lower abdominals, but then I'm just letting the thigh rotate nice and slowly in the hip joint, keeping it nice and steady. And the pelvis is staying nice and still, so I'm not letting it shift from side to side. Then the progression from that is obviously a longer lever. So then I'm gonna place the band onto the ball of the toes. Again, my upper body's gonna rest on the floor. I'm using the band to kind of draw the femur down into the hip socket again. And then I need to make sure that I'm maintaining my neutral. So sometimes what happens with a straight leg is people are more concerned about the leg being vertical, therefore they lose their neutral pelvis. So I need to anchor that tailbone. Again, make sure that pelvis is in neutral. And then from there, do the circles in the hip joint, still maintaining that pelvic stability. So lower abdominals are on, rotating in the hip. And sometimes maybe you'll feel your, your leg tightening up because it's a lot more challenging to be in a straight leg versus a bent leg. So you might need to relax that thigh, think about relaxing the muscles in the leg joint, and then use the band to guide the leg in that hip socket, trying not to let the quad or the hip flexor tighten up as you rotate through that hip. And you wanna do both directions, just teeny little circles. And then after you've done those, you can repeat those exercises without the band, Still, again, focusing on pelvic stability, but now you're going to let the larger muscles add in and you will feel the difference between using the band and not using the band.